Hi everyone, my name is Nicolás Brito, I'm a music producer from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and in this video I will be showing you the Combina Tree by Audio Damage. In order to test its potential, I'm going to process drums, bass, percussion and vocals in a drum and bass track. Before we get started, I want to thank Integra Audio for sponsoring this video. Now, let's check out the main features of this plugin. So Combina Tree is a multiband processor with plenty of sound design possibilities. We get a visual crossover for selecting our bands and processing, three distortion stages that can be set to multiband or series. We also get a different, uh, different types of filters for the master frequency knob. We get a feedback module with its own envelope. And lastly, we get a really handy compression stage. First of all, I'm going to show you the different tracks we're going to process. Let's start with the drums. Okay, they sound pretty cool. Let's hear without the computer tree. You can, uh, you're gonna already hear the engines activating this kind of crunchy tones to it. Um, I'm just going to process mid and hikes. We're going to leave lows alone. I'm going to use the saturate mode in here and in the hikes, we're going to use the toe clip, I think. Um, now let's get, let's get um, a little bit of tweaking. I really like this uh, this kind of crunchy tones and the possibility to uh, to compensate um, the the different gain stages. Uh, I mean the different the, the gain we get we get from the, um, the distortions and also to compensate it with with the the gain of each band. I think it's quite handy and also the compressor lets you glue in all the the different sounds um, with with so much ease. Let's match the output so can we can hear the difference. We certainly get a richer tone in these drums. Now we're going to test the Combina tree with shaker loops. I can just get rid of these low frequencies. We just want to get a really beefy tone from the bass loop. Um, so I will just leave this band alone and mess around with kind of with different distortions here. Um, let's just go with the highs. Let's try a ring mod. It could be interesting. I want to find myself using it though. Um, let's go with rectify. Mm, I think this would suit more uh, a bass tone. Um, let's just go saturate. I like this one a little bit more. It really brings out those uh, high high frequencies that are so important in this kind of percussions. Notice that if we get close to fifty percent in uh, in the compressor, um, we start getting. Uh, a really squashed signal so I I can imagine myself at least in this kind of track 
in this kind of tracks i can imagine myself using this at uh, at 100 percent that is full potential um so i think the the sweet point the sweet point in this uh, in this knob is just around here way too compressed Now let's go with the mids. Nice. It really pops out, makes the, um, the mid frequencies pops out, at least with this warp mode. Let's try another one, let's try distort. I don't like this one that much. I think I just go with warp. It really brings out the articulation of the shakers. It's it's it's, it's kind of cool. Now we're going to process this drum fill. I got this this loop over here. I think this sounds pretty cool. Um, let's just go with the mids. I just get rid of the lows. Oh, well, maybe not. Okay, let's go with tube clip. Nice. Better in context. I think um, it works really great because um, the very first thing that I hear when I just uh, put this plugin in any track and I don't get any of the tweaking done. Um, uh, we get this kind of uh, high past, uh, I mean low past filter uh, at the very top. Uh, listen carefully. Now it's off. And now it's on. This is also because, of course, I've boosted some of the, the frequencies in the mid part of the frequency spectrum. So um, combining this kind of aspects, I think it can work really great for this kind of breaks. Now let's go ahead and try to get um, a real beefy tone from this bass loop. Let's hear how this sounds. to get um, the sub load to get working with uh, with more harmonics um, and then we will deal with the mid part um, let's just choose saturate nice Let, let's go ahead and use um, this tube clip for the mid part I really like this one the top clip Now let's hear it in context.
this is the signal processed and now we're going to hear it just with the drum loop without process you can see i mean it sounds pretty good it, it's just a loop um out of a sample pack and it's kind of processed but um they think uh, this kind of loops tend to to sound very thin and, and not not really warm so with this kind of of distortions um dedicated to each uh, to each part of the frequency spectrum i think uh, they can sound damn awesome <laughs> i mean hear that Pretty cool. Lastly, we're going to process the vocals of this track. Let's hear them. Wanna back down, I smack clowns and make the whole club black out with mad style. We control the rave, people standing in line like a roll of blade. Wanna back down, I smack clowns. Okay, I'm just going to use kind of the same setting that I've used with the bass. Wanna back down, I smack clowns and to get rid of of that low information want to back down i smack clowns and make the whole club just at around 2 um 200 hertz want to back down i smack clowns and make want to back down i smack clowns and make the whole club black out with mads want to back down i smack clowns and make the whole club black out with mads want to back down i smack clowns and make the whole now club black clip. out want to back down i smack clowns and make the whole club black out with really nice uh, the clip one it's pretty useful when you want to pop out all those higher frequencies all these airy frequencies um especially when uh, when using a lot of distortion in mid you can get in kind of a a real uh, real boxy uh, tone to it so if you want to get more more air from it um use this one in the high part of the frequency spectrum want to back down i smack clowns and make the whole club black out with mad style we control the rave people standing in line like a roll of blade want to back down i smack clowns and make the whole club black out with mad style we control the rave people standing in line like a roll of blade want to back down I smack clowns and make the whole club black out with mad style we control the Pretty nice, pretty nice. I don't find my, I, I wouldn't find myself using this one that much on vocals, but I guess if you want this kind of radio effects um, with a kind of a distorted tone, I think it could work. Um, but mostly, I was in love with the tone you can get uh, in in the bass and in the drums, especially in the bass, uh, for creating this kind of massive uh, tone to it. So in conclusion, I think the Combina Tree is a great tool for creating massive tones in your bass and more harmonic content to your drums, percussion and fills. Uh, on the other hand, for vocals, I don't think it, I would find myself using it too much, unless I'm looking for a kind of a distorted tone to it. But overall, I think it's a great plugin and you should check, check it out and give it a try. So that wraps it up for this review. If you like what you see and it was helpful to you, please subscribe, like and hit the bell button uh, to get notified for the future videos. I want to thank again the Intro Audio guys for sponsoring this video. I will see you next time.